Hello YouTube. Uh, today I'll be tying a popping fly. Uh, it uses a specific fly for panfish because um, uh, the hook size. But you can upgrade your hook size and uh, use and use these flies for um, bass um, as well, or maybe pickerel. Uh, what could be more fun than watching a fish come up and uh, grab your popper? Um, when I first uh, started fly fishing last year, um, that's the first fly I've ever used on those uh, bluegills uh, panfish, and I I just couldn't stop myself uh, watching them uh, come up to the surface and uh, smash the popper. So, uh, um, yep, yeah, today we'll be tying one here, um, and. Uh, um, this part is actually a uh, uh, dense foam and uh, I've uh, prepared it and cut it already and uh, basically I was just using a, a heated uh, metal uh, tubing and uh, just punch through right through the uh, um, foam material uh, basically you can use anything uh, even the uh, slippers uh, you can use that um, just keep that in mind and it's gonna keep the cost down and uh, this fly is very 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 easy to tie and uh, if you just started fly fishing um, and uh, fly tying and you can try try this fly and uh, actually uh, those panfish are not very picky um, so you can just tie one and uh, or maybe tie a bunch of these and just go out and have a field day with them. Uh, anyway, let's get started. So, um, started putting a thread on uh, like this, and uh, uh, the, for the tail, I'll be using a saddle hackle. Um, but you can really you can use anything, a uh, marabou uh, tail, it'll work, and uh, you know, and uh, any kind of feather. Just to tip it. So let's see. Okay, I'll choose these two. And uh, the beauty of uh, this fly is uh, you're actually not wasting any fly tying material. So I'll choose these two. Uh, I don't need them to be too long. So I'll just cut from here. Just cutting them from here. Maybe uh, twice the length of the hook shank. And cut it like so. And then uh, pinch them together. Just uh, wrap them on there. Okay, make sure they stay on top. Okay, pinch it down. A few wraps to secure it. Tension there. Anyway, few wraps to secure it. And, uh, there you go. That's your tail. Okay. And then the next part. We're gonna create some kind of uh, um. Hat for this uh, thing. So uh, what I'm gonna do here is uh, remember the uh, part just cut right here. You can snip the feather we just cut. You can just snip it off like so, and uh, take off some feather, leave the stem. And this piece, you can just wrap it on. One turn, two turns, three turns, pinch it, and uh, uh, and move your thread backwards. Two turns, spiral back, and uh, then cut off the tip section here. Snip it off. One turn. Two turns, three turns, four turns, five turns, six 
tutorials. I like it uh, a little bit more dense, so uh, I, I'll give it like six turns anyway. And I'll bring forward the uh, thread like so. And you can cut off uh, where you tie it down, okay? So that's finished. Nice fluffy looking head. And then I'll bring the thread forward. All the way to the hook eye. And uh, I like uh, to go back one more time and spiral rope forward. The reason I'm doing this is um, I'm trying to create a landing platform for the. Uh, uh, for the uh, popping part. Just put a, a drop of uh, crazy glue on there. And then uh, spread open uh, the popping head you just cut and then just slide it on there push it back make sure uh, the glue uh, is secured like that okay and then uh one two three three turns and then uh we finish the attack end. Okay, basically uh, it's your popping fly. If you want to add legs, it's really easy to do as well. Uh, oh, I forgot. Before you adding on legs, flip the, uh, the fly over and uh, use your owl. Push back the uh, hair a little bit. And uh, another drop of uh, crazy glue. On the seam part, you can add a little more. Okay, and uh, then you pinch the foam. Okay, the uh, super glue has dried, so uh, this is basically uh, the fly should look like. Oh. Very simple. And uh, what I like to do here is to add on some legs. So you need a, a little bit uh, uh, lag material. You can use anything really. Uh, so I'm gonna use this tool to punch through the uh, body, just just above the uh, hook. So I'm gonna punch it through. Okay, and uh, I'm gonna use the uh, threading tool. Push through the hole. You just punch, and uh, a piece of uh, fly tying thread. Put it in there, and drag it across the uh, hole. Just punched. Okay, and uh, leave the loop end here. And you fold it. Uh, you're gonna fold your leg and double, du double over your leg, and just pull it through. Stretch it a little bit, like so. Okay, and uh, there you go. And cut this in. So 
So now you have it. You're a panfish popping fly, and uh, this fly is really, arguably, the best panfish fly or um, best fly ever. Uh, I've caught um, countless uh, panfish on this, so. Uh, um, oh, uh, before I finish up uh, this video, one last thing you can do is to add a drop. Uh, of uh, crazy glue. Let's put it upside down. You can drop one drop of crazy glue at the uh, um, head of the uh, fly, so you can secure the thread. So to make the fly more durable. Okay. There you have it, the panfish popping fly.